he acknowledged that shortly before Christmas, he had gone to a meeting in the Oval Office with the President. That, of course, uh, surprised me. And uh, I asked him, how did that happen? And he was defensive. He said it, it had been unplanned, that he had been talking to uh, someone he referred to as uh, General Perry, but I believe as Congressman Perry, and that unbeknownst to him, he was asked to go to a meeting and he didn't know it, but it turned out it, it was at the Oval, he found himself at the Oval Office. So for criminal matters, the policy for a long time has been that only the Attorney General and the Deputy Attorney General from the DOJ side can have conversations about criminal matters with the White House, uh, or the Attorney General and the Deputy Attorney General can authorize someone for a specific item with their permission, but the idea is to make sure that the top rung of the Justice Department knows about it and is in the thing to control it and make sure only appropriate things are done. Mr. Ringo, from